Here's how to break anything inside of After Effects. And specifically, we'll be using the Shatter Effect to destroy text, logos, and any graphic that you wish to destroy inside of After Effects. So please be sure to drop a like on this video as it does help our YouTube channel, and let's get started. All right, let's break some things. So first type out a title or import a graphic into a composition and then go to layer pre-compose. We'll call it placeholder, click okay. This way you can easily swap it out later. Then I want to actually texture our title or logo, whatever you're working with, you know, to give it some nice detail. So you can download our project files for free and get all the assets that we're using inside of this tutorial uh, to make this happen. So I have this wall texture. I'm gonna go ahead and place it underneath our placeholder and set the track mat to the placeholder layer. Then I can S on my keyboard for scale and I can scale our texture down so we can have that nice detail around our title like this. And then we'll take both these layers, pre-compose again. We'll call it texture, click okay. So in order to pull this off, we're going to need a shatter map, something that looks like this. However, I created this using Pluxus here inside of After Effects. However, you don't need Pluxus because that's a third party plugin. You can just download the project files and you get access to these line maps, which you can now import into your composition. So I'll go ahead and bring one of these in here, just one. And then I'm just going to pre-compose it. We'll call it map, move all attributes and click okay. Then I can turn it off and I'll grab my texture layer and we'll go to effect simulation and we'll grab shatter. Then the first thing we do is we set the view to rendered right off the start and we come here to shape and then we set pattern from bricks to custom and set your custom shatter map to the map layer that we just imported. Now, if we scrub through here, we can start to see our text break apart, but it's kind of ugly. So we're gonna go ahead and refine the setting right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and change some of these settings. Let's close the shape, let's open force one. We'll increase the depth to 0.2, the radius to 0.5, and we'll set the strength to two. And this will help with the particles and how fast they will kind of shoot off of their title. All right, then let's open up the physics. Set the tumble axis to none. We'll set the randomness to 0.3, and then the viscosity also to three. We'll set our gravity to zero and gravity direction to zero as well. So these are the settings that I'm using, but feel free to adjust the force one in physics settings uh, to your own liking because you can get completely different looks with the shatter effect. So this is looking great, but the problem is, is that it shatters immediately. So what if we want to have our text up here for a second before it shatters? Well, to fix this, what I'm going to do is come here to one second. And with my layer selected, I'll go to edit duplicate and I'll move my texture layer over by one second. And I'll go to the bottom layer here, delete the shatter effect. And then I'll take the out point of our second layer here and just bring it all the way in to one second. So now we'll have our main graphic up here for one second and it will break after one second. So this is looking awesome, but what if we don't want to apply the shatter effect to all the letters or the entire graphic? So I'm gonna show you how to isolate your graphics so the shatter effect only affects the areas that you want. So what we'll do is we'll take our top texture layer with the shatter effect and we'll go to edit duplicate. We'll go ahead and solo the layer real quick and then we'll delete the shatter effect. We'll grab our pen tool and all we're gonna do is create a mask around the areas that we don't want to have the shatter effect applied to. So maybe this E right here is good. And if I wanna select another portion of our graphic, I'll hit M on my keyboard, set the mask to none real fast. And maybe I don't want this letter to break apart either. So I'll go ahead and mask around it. And then I'm gonna select both masks, make sure they're both set to add. I'll copy the mask. And then I'll grab the layer underneath, which is the shatter effect. And I'll go ahead and paste our mask on there and set the modes to subtract. Now, if I unsolo my layer, and none of these layers will be completely isolated from the shatter effect and everything else will break around it. Before we move further into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to our Motion Graphics Professionals Pack, which has 1400 templates right here for After Effects. For example, you can preview templates like we're creating in this video and apply it to your composition with one click of a button. And within a few seconds, you can add some nice accent graphics to your project. Also in this pack is a handful of titles which you can easily apply to your project. You can then double click on the composition and change the titles to fit your project needs. And then with the control layer, you can adjust the colors of everything inside the template fairly quick. You can also choose from effects like glitches and particle effects uh, to really cool transitions. And you can also choose from over 600 promo graphics. So if you're interested in having an extension panel with over 1400 templates, be sure to check our links in the description below. You can also download our free 100 template pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. All right, so now I want to talk about adding some extra details here to make this into a really cool and full scene. So as always, download our project files. We have this nice background that we can use in here. I can rotate it and, you know, kind of have this nice background here where I can just darken it down real fast. So we have a nice blend. And then we can add this like breaking of the screen sort of effect. Very fun to do. So we'll grab everything, uh, pre-compose it. We'll just call it all. That's great. And then we'll take our layer, go to edit, duplicate, and we'll grab the pen tool. 
and we'll simply just kind of create a like a triangle type mask here to create this like broken piece of mask and what we'll do is we'll go to effect perspective add a drop shadow change the angle down to 180 degrees uh, we can increase the softness by a little bit, duplicate drop shadow, increase the softness even more. And now we kind of get this cut in here like this. And we can increase the opacity by a little bit on both of these. Okay, awesome. And then we take the, both the drop shadow effects, we can then duplicate them. And then we can change the direction up to zero degrees so we can then have a drop shadow at the top part there. And I can do this again by duplicating the original layer, ground the pen tool again, and just drawing a mask, say around here, taking our drop shadow effects, at least two of them, copy them and then just paste them there, change the direction. And now we have another cut. However, you might want to use your arrow keys here to just move it over so we can offset our breaks. So that will stand out even more. And then bring in the inputs of these two top layers to one second. This way we can have original text again and they'll just break all at once and that's gonna look great. Another thing that we can do to make this pop is go to layer, new adjustment layer and go to effect, stylize and grab glow. Uh, we can increase the glow radius here by a little bit, increase the glow threshold. Uh, we can then duplicate it, increase the glow radius. And this will kind of help make our title stand out as it gets broken apart and everything. So now you know how to effectively break anything here inside of After Effects.